dear viewers greetings in this present video we are going to see about streptococcus pyogenes our first general characteristics of streptococcus pyogenes a streptococcus pyogenes is a gram positive spherical shaped bacteria and it is arranged in the form of chains and often having diplococci arrangement it is non motile in nature and its size ranging from 0.5 micrometer to 1 micrometer in diameter and it belongs to the family streptococcaceae and capsules are occasionally present and the capsules are made up of hyaluronic acid endospores are absent in lansfield classification streptococcus pyogenes is coming under group a so it is also called as group a streptococcus and mode of respiration uh, the streptococcus pyogenes is aerobic or facultative anaerobic in nature and the optimum temperature required for the cultivation of streptococcus pyogenes is 37 degrees celsius and optimum ph is 7.3 to 7.4 and the streptococcus pyogenes are widely present in the throat and skin of the human beings and it was discovered by the austrian surgeon theodor belroth in the year 1874 Uh, next disease transmission of streptococcus pyogenes uh, streptococcus pyogenes infections are mainly transmitted by two modes the first mode is person to person spread by respiratory droplets and the second mode is through breaks in the skin after direct contact with the infected persons fomite and arthropod vectors uh, next virulence factors of streptococcus pyogenes the ability of the microorganisms to cause the disease is called as virulence and the term virulence was first coined by uh, the french scientist and french microbiologist louis pasteur and virulence factor are the factors which are responsible for causing an infection in the human beings and generally streptococcus pyogenes have three categories of virulence factors the first category is antigenic structure the second category is toxins and the third category is enzyme or spreading factors the first category antigenic structure includes uh, m proteins which act as an adhesins uh, t substances uh, which are very helpful in the differentiation of streptococcus pyogenes from other streptococcus and p substances which act as a nucleoproteins the second category of virulence factor is toxins there are two toxins are involved in the pathogenesis of streptococcus pyogenes they are pyrogenic exotoxins or erythrogenic exotoxin uh, it have three types type a type b and type c and the second toxin is hemolysins it is uh, classified into two one is streptolysin o and the second one is uh, streptolysin s and the third category of virulence factor is enzymes or spreading factors it includes uh, streptokinase or fibrolysin decarboxynuclease and hyaluronidase Uh, the incubation period for streptococcus pyogenes infection is 1 to 3 days and the infective dose required for causing streptococcus pyogenes infection is variable and next pathogenesis of streptococcus pyogenes uh, streptococcus pyogenes has multiple mechanisms for avoiding opsonization and phagocytosis opsonization is the process of enhancing the molecules which are responsible for the phagocytosis process and phagocytosis process is the process of cell engulfment or cell eating and in this process our immune cells will engulf the pathogenic cells or bacterial cells and next the hyaluronic acid capsule is a poor immunogen and interferes with the phagocytosis process and the m protein also interfere with phagocytosis by blocking the binding of the complement component c3b uh, which is an important mediator of the uh, phagocytosis and finally all strains of streptococcus pyogenes have c5a peptidase on their surface uh, this serine protease or c5a peptidase inactivates the c5a complement component uh, which act as a chemo attractant of neutrophils and mononuclear phagocytes and protects the bacteria from early clearance from the infected tissues Uh, clinical diseases of streptococcus pyogenes uh, streptococcus pyogenes results in two category of clinical diseases they are non superative diseases and superative diseases 
non superative diseases includes rheumatic fever and acute glomerulonephritis and the superative disease includes uh, pharyngitis scarlet fever pyoderma erysel peels cellulitis necrotizing facilities and finally streptococcal toxic shock syndrome and the rheumatic fever is the first non superative disease uh, the rheumatic fever is characterized by inflammatory changes of the heart that is the pancreatitis joints that is arthralgia to arthritis blood vessels and subcutaneous tissues uh, the second disease of uh, non superative disease is acute glomerulonephritis uh, in this case acute inflammation of the renal glomeruli with edema hypertension hematuria and proteinuria was observed Uh, next superative diseases uh, the first superative disease caused by the streptococcus pyogenes is pharyngitis uh, ridden pharynx with exudates are generally present in this case of pharyngitis and the cervical lymphadenopathy or abnormal signs of lymph nodes can be predominant and pharynx is a part of the throat behind the mouth and nasal cavity and in the exudates the fluids are emitted by an organism and the second superative disease caused by the streptococcus pyogenes is uh, scarlet fever uh, in scarlet fever uh, diffuse erythematous rash or reddening of the skin and mucous membrane is observed in the beginning on the chest and spreading to the extremities like limbs or appendages of the body particularly the hand and the feet and it is the major complication of the streptococcal uh, pyogenes and it occurs due to the complication of the streptococcal pharyngitis and the third superative disease caused by the streptococcus pyogenes is pyoderma and pyoderma is a localized skin infection with vesicles uh, which is progressing to pustules and there is no evidence of systemic disease in case of pyoderma and uh, the fourth superative disease caused by the streptococcus pyogenes is uh, erysel fields Erysel pales is a localized skin infection with pain, inflammation, uh, lymph node enlargement, and some systemic symptoms. The fifth superative disease caused by the Streptococcus pyogenes is cellulitis. Uh, in this cellulitis infection, uh, the skin is mainly involved, particularly the subcutaneous tissue of the skin is highly involved in this cellulitis condition. the sixth superative disease caused by the streptococcus pyogenes is uh, necrotizing facilities and in this case uh, the deep infection of the skin that involves the destruction of muscles and fatty layers takes place and the seventh and final clinical diseases of caused by the streptococcus uh, pyogenes is uh, streptococcal toxic shock syndrome in this case uh, multi multi organs are involved and it is also called as uh, multi systemic infection and the symptoms are more or less resembling like the staphylococcal toxic shock syndrome and next laboratory diagnosis of streptococcus pyogenes the first diagnostic method is microscopic examination under gram staining streptococcus pyogenes was appeared as violet colored gram positive cocci arranged in form of chains and in hanging drop method or modality test it is non motile in nature and uh, next to the call limb morphology on culture medium in blood agar streptococcus pyogenes produce grayish white transparent to translucent matte to glossy smooth flat and large zone of beta hemolysis colonies and in mckenkey agar uh, the streptococcus pyogenes shows pink colored lactose fermenting colonies and this image shows the beta hemolysis of the streptococcus pyogenes under blood agar a biochemical test catalase test negative oxidase test negative urea test negative indole test negative methyl red test positive vergus prescott test or vp test negative citrate utilization test negative starch hydrolysis negative casein hydrolysis negative 
alkaline phosphatase activity positive arginine dehydrolase test positive hyaluronidase test positive neuramidase test positive base resin test sensitive por test positive camp test negative the serological test used for the diagnosis of streptococcus pyogenes infection is aso test or anti streptolysin o test and for this test streptococcus pyogenes shows positive reaction and the positive reaction is observed by a clear agglutination uh, within 2 minutes and this shows uh, positive reaction and this shows the negative reaction aso test is a type of uh, uh, latex agglutination test and in this test aso latex particles are coated with uh, purified and stabilized streptolysin o and when the latex suspension is mixed with patient serum containing elevated levels of aso antibodies on the slide a clear agglutination is seen within 2 minutes finally uh, treatment and prevention uh, streptococcus pyogenes are susceptible to penicillins like uh, benzyl penicillin or penicillin g or oral penicillin v and for penicillin allergic patients erythromycin is a drug of choice in some cases clindamycin or vancomycin is also recommended for treating the streptococcus pyogenes infection dear viewers that's all about the bacterium streptococcus pyogenes thank you for your support thank you